Hey friends, hey family, it's David. Thank you for following me along on David's vision journey. Today is Saturday, November the 11th, and boy, am I glad the weekend is here. The days are long, now the days are cold and rainy. <laughs> and I'm so glad to have a couple of days off to recharge, refresh, and just get things done that I have to postpone and defer till the weekend. Um, so uh, just a quick update. Um, in my home management class this week, I've been, you know, cleaning ovens and refrigerators. And yesterday I sharpened 30 knives, um, and doing laundry and things like this at the center and organizing and cleaning things as we're preparing for our Thanksgiving break. Coming up next week, next Monday, uh, I'm making a turkey, the Thanksgiving turkey for a Tuesday Thanksgiving dinner at the center. So that's interesting. They trusted the turkey to me so i've been doing my due diligence online and talking to some dear friends who know what they're talking about to get a recipe together for that so thank you friends for helping me out there so yeah this this break is coming up next thursday i'll fly out um for 10 glorious days in in murfreesboro hallelujah so i hope to see some of you in person or at church or in some some way <laughs> in shop I'm happy to report that I finished my final braille block. In fact, let me see. There it is. This is it right here. This one's significant. Final braille block. And um, I've done, I spent months honing this craft. And um, now I'm being promoted to home maintenance. So I finished the woodworking portion and I'm into the home maintenance part. You know, um, fuse box, toilet, sinks you know, how to do a, a number of things. Uh, so that's a, a new phase. And then I'll eventually uh, graduate from home maintenance and home management. So then I can focus in on, you know, some things that are more important to me the last couple of months of my training. So um, in travel, uh, yesterday I was crossing the street, touched the curb, my cane broke. Evidently, I I think I crimped it in a car door and it had a stress fracture and when I tapped it it broke so I turned around and get back to the center and buy a new cane <laughs> it's my it's my third cane I think these things break and uh, and the tips break too they kind of have a blowout like a tire does so I always have to carry an extra tip let me show you this uh, I never want to be out without one of <laughs> sorry Oh, here it is. One of these. These right here. You just can't believe how important this is. It's got metal on it for echolocation and whatnot. So, and rubber. It's. I just cannot leave home without an extra one of these in my pocket. It's just interesting. So, um, and uh, so. Uh, yesterday, I wanted to tell you, this week I got hearing aids for both ears. Uh, thank God for vocational rehabilitation in Tennessee. I have a tremendous book rehab counselor named Quinn Howard, and he's really behind me and just funded, you know, $6,500 worth of hearing aids. Thank you, Jesus. So I got those this week. I'm getting used to those. They put them in at 70 degrees 70 percent volume and then it'll go up to 80 90 and 100 percent over a period of days it kind of automatically does it. i don't know how that necessarily works but i'm climatizing to those and it's just a night and day difference you know i went into a seminar where all of us are in a room together and normally i'd hear maybe 40 35 to 40 percent of what's being said and this week i heard about 95 percent of what was being said so it's just been really something else. And uh, in going out and travel, it's interesting. It has some type of uh, filtering system to limit the decibels. Like when a train went by, it didn't like, you know, super loud. It kind of buffered it. But it's also buffering the traffic too when the loud trucks go by. Instead of them being super loud, which I used as a navigation tool, it's kind of dialed that down. So I'm, I'm having to retrain my brain with all the ambient noises that are coming in that I never heard before. So my coach and I are gonna work through that uh, transition, but it's gonna be ultimately just wonderful. So um, 
and then in um, TAC, I'm continuing to try to learn the non-visual display, and that's a challenge. I'm using NVDA, screen reader, and also JAWS. Not like the Sharp, but JAWS is a professional grade screen reader. So I'm gonna eventually learn both of those. And uh, yeah, so I try to do a little bit extra study on the weekends for that, just put some time in to that. And then uh, Braille, uh, I'm closing in on, you know, the final, final Braille uh, contractions. I'm gonna learn 185 of those. I'm, I don't know, maybe 120, 130. And, and there, there, there's some of these, these last ones are coming quick are like TD, today, TM, tomorrow, CH, character, uh, FR, friend, um, you know, ALW, always, AFW, afterwards, those kinds of things. I've got I've to memorize, you know, all of those, and then I'll be tested on those, and I have to get 95 to proceed. 95% to pass. So anyway, it's it's pretty stringent, but you know, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna just relentlessly continue to do that. Uh, let's see what else uh, would might be of interest to you. Oh yeah, today, uh, kind of close with this. Today I'm going tandem bike riding. We've got three tandem bikes at the center. And you know, I've had the privilege of being a catalyst for this, working with a, a local biking club guy and one of the teachers in shop uh, and uh, his name is Chase and it's just wonderful we're we've got three guys on the front to volunteer who are sighted and three of us students are going to get on the back today at one o'clock and uh, we're going to go down the greenway here so that's that's a blessing and I'm thankful to be able to do an activity outdoors hadn't been on a bike outdoors um, a year, maybe more. So it'll be nice. So that's a blessing. So we've got a, a ton of stuff to do today, cleaning and groceries are coming in here uh, in about an hour and uh, all my extra study and extra homework and things like that. I've got braille homework and things, but glad to have a Saturday. So uh, blessings, favor to you, grace and peace from the Lord. Uh, I appreciate you tracking along with me. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.